Hey guys and welcome back to another video from OPMation. Uh, in this video I just wanted to show you the Motion Trail tool. This is a really good tool to use and uh, I just wanted to show you because this controls the arcs, uh, how to use, show, sorry it shows you the trajectory of the arcs so you know where your hips are going, where everything is moving, your arms, your wrists, your legs. Very useful tool to use. It's, it's probably one of the best tools I use just to track how my uh, model is moving, especially the hips, to see how it's moving. Is it moving nice and curves organically? So I'll just go through that with you. So what I'll do is, I'll just do a keyframe here. So we'll do an example here, a quick example. So let's go to 100 frames. So we go to 100 and we can move. Just So we'll just move it to the end here, yeah? So it's going there to there, yeah? Now what we'll do is, I'll just give that a linear, so it's like constant. And then what we want to do is we want to, we want it to go every ten frames. We'll just make it go up. We'll just do it up on the line, yeah. And we'll key that where it is. Sorry, and the next ten frames will go up. And then we'll key that down. The next frame will go up. And then we'll go down, and then we can we can just copy these. We'll just go right click, copy, just put it here, copy there. Okay, so we've got like okay. Let me sort. Then we'll sort that out. The start bit. Okay, so we want this to be up. What we'll do. We'll just grab this value here, this one, because, yeah, we want it there. Okay, so we'll just grab that, copy, and paste it in there. So that's all all the same. And then we'll grab one of these points and make them all the same value. Okay, so it should be even now. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so that's like a kind of how a walk would be. So if I just bring it down a bit. You know your hips would be moving like that and if you ever want to check the trajectory to see if it's running smoothly I know it's smooth there but if you want to check it out if there's any glitches you just go to animation here at the top and select a controller on a rig or in this case is the sphere and then you go to visualize and create edible motion trail yeah and you can see here now if I just make this a bit bigger and look at that it's created this wave now this is so useful because you know exactly what your curves are doing if you think something is in animation is if your arm is like jittering you know like, like moving like up and then comes back down again quickly so you could like for example in here you might have a jitter where it suddenly goes up and then in two frames or one frame it comes back down so there you see like you'll get then you you know okay that part is not smooth I need to fix it so then you can go back you can either delete it or the great thing about this tool is you can actually select the point and you can move it how you want and you can select this and move it so you can get a smoother curve that's why it's so powerful obviously the timing here is a bit going to be a bit different from this person this person's going to go a bit quicker but it's a lot more smoother and then of course you can delete and then the existing what you can do with the existing animation is you can just select these curves here as it's playing it won't let you do it while you're playing which i think would be quite useful but and it will move it will, it will move exactly how how you're moving it down so that's the power of this tool this tool is very powerful and when it comes to a character you can just select the ankle and you can just select the wrist or the hips and just uh, track them and go all along. I'll show you an example of a character as well. So for example I've loaded this scene up. So this is a dragon animation I was working on and I'll show you how the track, track works. So for example the dragon comes up here and it lands right. Now what I do is when I was blocking it out I would select Select the curves, 
So here we the main curve is so let's go to perspective here. Oh dragon camera. Right. So the main control here. would be this this one yeah this one here no sorry where is that controller gone let me see just give me one second sorry it was this arrow this bit here so that's to control so what i do is so if i'm looking working in the side view i select that control go to visualize create motion trail if it doesn't show just go to show motion trails yeah so then i, I can see okay this is the position of my of this is the trajectory of my of my hips yeah so that is the power like you can see, you know, you're simply trying to get nice curves on the on the wrist, on the sorry, on the on the hips, yeah. And then you can also, for example, you could select. I mean, this hasn't been polished, but you could select the foot and do the same thing. So if you go to visualize, create motion trail, the foot is following a similar trajectory. See, so this is how you can really clean up your curves. You can come in here. You can clean up your arcs, which are showing so important to make your animations feel very organic. And, you know, you can move them. You can change the spacing, play around with them. And the same thing with the wrists, if you're in IK yeah, or FK, you can and then the head as well. So these are the main areas that I kind of look at. So that's just one way where you can. You can. Uh, utilize this tool is so it's so good. It's so uh, useful. And I think every animator should do it. Before, when this was, wasn't available, I used to put acetate paper on the screen. And I used to put every keyframe, I used to go dot, dot, dot to see what the trajectory is like. But now with these tools, you can see it in the front view, top, bottom. So an amazing tool. And I just wanted to share that with you that don't overlook this tool. It's, it's, it's a very useful tool. Yeah. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll be doing some more videos. I'm going to be doing a video on my workflow. My next one will be a simple jump just to show you how I carve out the poses and how I do a jump and how I go through my uh, workflow, you know, using methods like this, checking the hips first, make sure everything's working properly, then start layering in the other animations. And uh, I have a also, if you're interested, because these these hip movements and everything, everything is complete, like fundamentals, which need to be mastered. And I have a I have a very detailed course on that on Udemy and Skillshare. And if you are interested, you can go on to Udemy and Skillshare. If you want the course for free, you can go on Skillshare. The first thousand students who go on Skillshare would get it for free premium premier membership. I think it's for about a week or two weeks. But you can literally see the course in a week and you can unsubscribe from Skillshare. So you, you're getting the course for free or you can go on Udemy. Udemy prices fluctuate, but wait for Udemy to put a sale on. Because the course might say like, I don't know, 60 or 100 pound, but don't buy it at that. Buy it at 14 or 10 pound because that, that, that's the price they put it on. Uh, it just fluctuates. The, the algorithms just go up and down. So wait for the price to go down. And there's just a wealth of information there, a lot of detailed information there of fundamentals that you really need to know before you start animating. But I will be putting videos up on YouTube regularly now to show my workflow. But knowing those fundamentals are so important as well. So... If you, do, if you pop over, if you're interested, or if you think anybody else would be, you could share the link below in the description. And that would be, that would be very, I'd be very grateful. But uh, thank you for your support. And I'll be sharing a lot more information. And uh, I, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, see you.